My name is Bruce Logan. I'm a professor at Penn State University. I'm an environmental engineer. I do research on bioenergy and desalination. Uh, my paper on microbial desalination cells won ES&T's top environmental technology award of 2009. By 2025, a quarter of the people in the world could live in water-stressed areas and more and more frequently people are turning to desalination to obtain drinking water and water for other purposes. At the same time that we have this need for potable water and desalination, we're also having uh, issues with climate change and the utilization of fossil fuels. We discovered a method for desalinating water while at the same time generating electricity. This method of desalinating water requires no external source of electricity or high pressures. Well, microbial desalination cells are just a whole different approach to desalination than the current technologies. What's really different is that we don't need to take electricity that we use from fossil fuels or any other source. We can actually make the electrical power that we need to desalinate the water. So this is a completely different uh, method of desalinating the water because we don't need any electrical energy. In a microbial desalination cell, we, we put a, a chamber of water in between two membranes and, two other, and, and a chamber on either side. And then as bacteria eat up organic matter, they create electrical current which pulls the ions out of that middle chamber into the two adjacent chambers. So with one feeding cycle, we're able to desalinate all that water in the middle chamber, but at the same time generate some electrical current because that's how the bacteria are moving those ions out of that center chamber. Right now we use 5% of our electricity for our water infrastructure. And it's been estimated in places like California that, that with desalination that number could reach 18, 20 or even 30% due to the amount of water that's used in California. So we just don't have that kind of uh, electrical energy. Using this approach could perhaps uh, reduce some of those energy needs to, uh, to as much as half. ES&T is widely regarded as the top journal in both environmental science and environmental engineering. And so when you think you have the best research, you go to es &T to publish it. You're always proud of the work that you do, but sometimes you feel like it's a documentary that nobody ever went to see. This for us was a, a statement that somebody else, and in fact a lot of other people perhaps thought that this was a great discovery, and so we were really pleased that um, it was recognized as being a notable technological advance. The, the most useful application of this technology may just be a blending of water treatment using energy that's in wastewater to accomplish water desalination. So that's, that's really what we hope, uh, we hope it to be, a widespread method of uh, water desalination. Mm -hmm.